Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make really realistic looking fabric peonies with stems. Welcome back to my channel today. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Today I want to share with you one of my very favorite, favorite craft projects and it's making fabric flowers. These peonies are so realistic looking and so beautiful. They're perfect for your spring decor or even for a wedding bouquet. Let me show you how to make them. For this project you need organza fabric or any see-through fabric that you can burn, polyester lining fabric, flower petal pattern from the DIYMommy.com. I'll leave a link below. Fabric sitter, scissors, 35 millimeter styrofoam ball, floral wire stems, a candle, a lighter, and a hot glue gun and tons of glue sticks. First of all, cut four each of each petal size from the lining fabric. So what I do is layer the fabric four times and cut with fabric scissors. Now the cutting does not have to be exact, so you can do kind of lazy cutting like I do where you kind of fold it randomly in four layers and just go for it. If there's little nicks or things aren't even, that doesn't matter because you're going to be burning the edges of these. Cut four each of each petal size from the organza fabric. So now the same thing, we're doing the largest to the smallest petal sizes on the organza. Again I just fold it over four times and I cut. Singeing the edges of these flowers will make it really easy to uh, get rid of any imperfections in your cutting. There are four different petal sizes, so when you're all done cutting your organza and your lining fabric petals, you'll have 16 lining fabric petals and 16 organza fabric petals. So 32 petals all together. This gives a really nice full looking peony flower and I would definitely recommend this many petals. If you don't want a large flower you can do fewer petals but I personally think a full looking peony looks the most wonderful. When you're all done cutting out all of your beautiful petals you're going to light your candle and I usually light mine for a little while so that it gets nice and hot and then carefully singe the edges of each of your fabric petals. Just make sure when you're doing this that you're using proper ventilation and candle safety so that you don't burn your fingers. And the edges of your petals should curl inward like this. Now people have asked me on fabric flowers whether to put the shiny side out or in when you're using a satin type of fabric and that's up to you, that's your preference. Repeat this process with all of the petals. So you're going to singe all 32 petals. This is a fantastic project to do when you're watching TV or relaxing. So I have found that the polyester lining fabric and the organza fabric work the best for this project because they are polyester, they singe the best, they curl the best. You can experiment with different types of fabric for this. Other fabrics that I've used are um, just a polyester satin. You want it to have a little bit of body to it. When you're all done, your petals will look like this and I think they're beautiful as is. They would be great in decor uh, for a wedding just like this. Next you are going to poke a hole into your 35 millimeter styrofoam ball. This creates kind of that um, interior of your peony. Put a dab of hot glue in the hole and secure the wire stem inside. I really love this look. I just uh, thought this one up just to make that peony look more real realistic. Next, cut a square of lining fabric that will wrap around the ball. Put some hot glue at the base of your ball and then wrap the lining fabric around that styrofoam ball and secure it to the hot glue. Wrapping it like this just makes it the best color for your finished peony when it's done. Next, trim off any excess fabric. And then you're just going to glue down the rest of those loose fabric pieces with your hot glue gun. You just want the ball to be covered. If the bottom is a little messy, that's no problem because you won't see it when you're finished your flower. Now find the smallest size of organza petals. So this is that see-through fabric you're going to use. And then put a strip of hot glue along the bottom short edge of one petal. So it's gonna curl up and around that bud 
like this. Secure the petal to the base of the ball. Repeat this process with the remaining smallest sized organza petals. So you're just gonna wrap that ball around like this. When you're finished the small petals, tack the tips of the petals to the top of the ball with a dab of hot glue. This just makes sure that the styrofoam ball is just completely covered and gives it a really realistic look. So your bud is going to look like this when you're finished. Next up, use the smallest lining fabric petals and lay them horizontally. So you are going to glue the long side of one of these petals, just a strip of hot glue along the long side. Now attach the petal to the base of the ball. You can gather it slightly by pinching the base of the fabric as you secure it. This gives a peony look. Repeat with the next three petals of this size and you can overlap them as you go. So overlap the petals um, to your liking. I do it approximately one inch and then just gather a little as you go along. This gives your flower that peony look. So your flower is going to start looking like a peony at this point. And then you're going to find the second smallest organza petals. And repeat this process. So put a strip of hot glue along one long side of the petal. And then just like the lining fabric petals, you're going to attach the petal to the base of the ball. Repeat with the next three petals of this size, overlapping them as you go, and you can also gather them a little bit by pinching the bottom of the petal as you go along. Repeat this process, alternating the lining fabric petals with the organza fabric petals. Move up in size from the smallest petals to the largest petals. For that realistic peony look, make sure your petals are always higher than the center ball. This makes your flower look more like a peony and less like a rose. If you want to make your flower look more like a rose, I'm going to put a link below and in this video to my fabric rose, cabbage rose tutorial. And I'll show you there how to make this same type of flower with no stem and using sewing rather than a hot glue gun. Here's how the flower looks so far and the alternating of the organza, so the see-through fabric with the polyester lining fabric, makes the flower look really interesting. I think this is really what makes the flower look realistic, is alternating the translucent fabric with the opaque fabric. And once you're finished your final layer of petals, so the largest layer of petals, your flower will be finished. It has all 32 petals on it. You can see on the bottom, they are slightly gathered. Everything's glued down. And your flower is just full of body. I think they look so romantic, so beautiful. These would be fantastic in a wedding bouquet. I will leave a link below to the tutorial on how to make a fabric flower wedding bouquet. I do have a written tutorial on my blog. We did this for my sister's wedding and that was absolutely gorgeous. Here I've just used them on the stem with some greenery in a vase for some spring decor and I think they look absolutely beautiful. For more tutorials, please visit the DIYMommy.com and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.